Friends, communication between designers and developers just got a whole lot better. The new dev mode feature from Figma, it's amazing. Let's have a look, okay? So here, so here I already have some designs from Figma community, but to understand the dev mode feature better, first, let's organize our designs with sections. To create sections, go to the left-hand side of the top toolbar, then click on the drop-down menu beside the frame icon and select section. The shortcut for this is Shift plus S. Then draw a section to serve as a container for the screens you want and add a title to the section. Okay, now when you click on the section, you will notice the icon next to the section title. And when you click on this icon, the section becomes marked as ready for devs. If you look at the page name from the layers tab on the right, you see this also reflects. So now let's switch into dev mode. Two ways to do this. The first way is to click on the toggle on the right hand side of the top navigation. You can also use the shortcut shift plus D. Or the second way to do this would be to click on the ready for dev tab close to the section title and select open in dev mode. Yes, guys, we made it and now we are in the dev mode. So click on next, choose your platforms and units, click next, set your color theme, find and pin your favorite tools. You guys check this out. There's Jira, Storybook, Figma to code, GitHub, Figma came to slay you guys. <laughs> this feature is amazing. I love it. Okay, click on Nest, install integrations, and done. The first thing you'd notice is that the layers panel in dev mode looks different. First, you'd see an area for sections that are marked as ready for dev. Next, you'll see some components. And at the bottom of the panel, all layers not marked as ready for development. And from the inspect tab on the right hand side when you select a file you'll see dev resources codes layout styles colors and assets used and you can also compare changes that have been made to this file <laughs> what can i say you guys this feature is just amazing so of course you can also switch back to dev mode by clicking on the green toggle on the right hand side of the top navigation. So I'm going to include all the links to this Figma file in the description, okay? The file name is dev mode playground and it's a community file from Figma. Like it is so comprehensive. You get everything you need to know about the dev mode feature, okay? And that's it friends. I hope this video was helpful to you and now you can collaborate better with your software developers, hopefully, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video. Please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.